Hi, folks. Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show. Com. It's CES 2023. It's CES already. We're down in Eureka Park at uh, Booth 33 at Gnostics, and this is in the Dutch Pavilion. And we're speaking with Eva. Eva, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. There you go. And Eva, give us your dot com so people can find you guys on the winter webs. www.gnostics.com. There you go. And uh, hello, Vincent. How are you, too? You're Very standing good. over here giving us assistance. So, Eva, what, what does the company do for Gnostics? Uh, how does it work? Right. So, Gnostics makes sure that when you're ill and you have a bacterial infection or a fungal infection, you want to make sure you get the right treatments. Mm. So, we provide diagnosis on the spot within a doctor's visit so you get the right antibiotic treatment. There you go. And uh, is this is device right here that you guys make? Yeah. So basically what it is, it's not what you're used to in a big laboratory, right? Mm -hmm. Huge machines, huge devices. It's a small handle device, battery operated, and a tiny little chip that's here, right? Wow. Yep. And basically what it does, it's connected to our cloud software and an algorithm. So it takes a sample, put it on there, you put it in this device like this. Wow. And you simply scan it and check for uh, what the bacteria is. Now, what type of sample is that? Is it saliva or...? So it can be different kinds of samples. Uh, with each sample, you need a little bit of sample prep. Okay. So about 10% of all women usually get a UTI, okay. which is not very nice to have, right? And you want to get rid of it as soon as possible. So specifically for urinary tract infections, you take the urine at the GP or the pharmacy, we put it through a small filter and then you just put it on a chip. Mm -hmm. And then it puts it in the machine? It puts it in the machine go. and we'll analyze. And look, what you can see here is that we have an E. coli. E. coli oh. is one of the major um, causes of infection for urinary tracts. Now, was that me? Is that my sample? It might probably, have been. Oh, probably. well, yeah. You never know. I'm at CES. You can catch everything now. here. <laughs> Las Vegas. Yeah, um, you never know. So, it will go through all these tests. Now, why is this beneficial to be able to get this data quickly as opposed to the normal way that people do it? Well, look, each bacterial infection or fungal infection requires a different type of treatment. Mm. So if you don't know what it is, it's going to be quite difficult to actually provide the right treatments. Okay. So that's what you want to know, but you also don't want to wait for it for days. And then, so that, that was my point uh, that I was leading up to. So this is like more instant as opposed to waiting for the hospital to come back yeah. to their test? It takes about 15 minutes straight from your end to result. So you don't need to ship it, you don't need to bring it to a lab, uh, and you can provide the right treatment right away. So I can go see my doctor, hey, I think I have an infection, a cold or something. Yeah. He can run this quick test on me. Uh, what about the cost aspect of it compared to you know, when you're going to send off to the lab? Right. So think about that when you have to send it to a lab, it needs to be transported, different people need to handle it, right? And then generally these devices are really costly that you would see in a lab. But also the whole lab infrastructure costs money. So this is about tenfold cheaper than what you would generally get when you wow. need to send it off to the lab. Tenfold cheaper, wow. Yep. And you get instant results yes. or close to instant results. Yeah, and also just think about it, if you get the right treatment right away, it also reduces a lot of the cost of people having to come back. Besides that it sucks to have to come back. Yeah. Uh, years ago, we used to own a uh, blood uh, uh, testing delivery service. We would go to the hospital, right. pick up the blood or urine yeah. test, and then take them to the lab to be sampled. And a lot of times, there were emergency situations. Yeah. Someone was on a in the ER, they were bleeding out, they were trying yeah. to, you know, sometimes we'd deliver blood. But it was real loss of time because yeah. we you know you'd have to send the sample and there were times where sometimes the sample would get destroyed like they would hand us a bag and like they would break the beaker in front of us or something and we're like we're not touching that and then sometimes it was like tissue and once that goes bad then they got to go back in and get the tissue or the urine or whatever blood sample whatever it's, so yeah it's, it's it's good that you mention it actually because so the urinary tract infection is obviously something that you want to do at the primary care mm -hmm. but one of the other applications that we have is is a lab-based test that goes from a positive blood culture so you do have to grow the bacteria for a little bit to get enough you know concentration but then we do a direct identification with the same small handheld device and actually for bloodstream infections 
especially if it causes sepsis, which is a life-threatening disease. Yeah. Every hour that you wait with the correct antibiotics reduces your chance of survival to about 7.5%. Wow. So this is serious stuff to reduce the time to resolve. Obviously, we want to have it directly, but even reducing it hours can already increase the chance of survival greatly. And you guys are going to sell this worldwide? Yeah, it's a global issue. Antimicrobial resistance is rising. Um, the reason why certain antibiotics don't work is because it depends on the type of species, but it also depends on the resistance of a bacteria. Um, and it's a, it's a global issue. It's already causing more deaths than malaria or HIV. Wow. Sometimes called the silent pandemic, but it's, it's not as silent actually as you think it is. Wow. So, global issue. So, we are a company focused on global distribution. And are your clients like hospitals, doctors, people like that? Yeah, basically anyone who prescribes antimicrobials, we want them to use this. There you go. There you go. Well, I love the idea. It sounds awesome. What's the dot com where people can find out more on the interwebs? Gnostics.com. So, it's really easy. Diagnostics but just Gnostics. There you go, guys. Check it out. What an amazing thing here. You come to the Dutch Pavilion, booth number 33 with Gnostics. Thank you very much, Evan. Thank you very much. Thank you.